Okay, I'm not sure this is done. I'm not sure you're supposed to eat it hot or cold. I waited a half an hour like the instructions say. Whatever, it looks delicious. Preheat your ovens, pour yourselves a tall one, and put on your best Italian accento perché oggi facciamo panna cotta, un ricetta de giada de lentis. That's right, today we're making panna cotta. We're not making panna cotta. We're making panna cotta, as Giada would want us to say. This is a recipe from Giada's cookbook, Giada's Kitchen. You could probably buy it. You could probably find it at your library. It's got all the instructions for this chocolate panna cotta, which starts with milk, gelatin, sugar, eggs, vanilla. Then I'm gonna melt some chocolate in a double boiler. Today I'm drinking cognac, Quavassier VSOP. I bought this cognac for Ina Garten's gravy recipe, but that's another show, as my hero would tell you. Anyway, temper in that egg gelatin milk mixture. I chop up some almonds and toast those up. Those are gonna get sprinkled on top before this goes into its water bath. And then we are going to bake this, according to the cookbook, until the sides are firm and the center just jiggles slightly. That is very much like my body type. We're also gonna whip some cream for this. The cookbook calls for amaretto whipped cream. I don't have any amaretto, funny enough, at my bar. So I just use a little almond extract in this whipped cream where I'd normally use vanilla extract. And I'm gonna tell you what, it's delicious. And it goes really well with this cognac. 